Hi, everyone. My name is Megan Coleman, and I am a content designer at Michaels. So I make up some of the different classes that are going to happen in the Michaels stores. Um, the name of the project that we are going to be doing together today is called the Pom Pom Fantasy Creatures. I already have some of my pom pom creatures here for you to see. Um, so you can name them, you can make them with me. Um, we can make as many as we want to, as many as we have supplies for. So I'm very excited to make these pom-pom fantasy characters <laughs> with you today. So um, this is the last week of camp, and this week is the fantasy week of camp. So we can use our imaginations and let our imaginations run wild while we make these little pom-pom characters together. So you'll need some supplies from your box. And the supplies you're going to need are Chanel stems. So there's a couple of different packs of your pipe cleaners, your Chanel stems. So you can grab your pipe cleaners or your Chanel stems. You can also get your bags of pom-poms. This bag is just the regular colors and then they have some sparkly pom-poms too. So you can use sparkles or you can use your regular ones. We're also going to use pony beads. These are your pony beads. We're going to use our craft glue, the white one. We're going to use foam. We're gonna use tissue squares. We're gonna use my favorite, wiggle eyes. And we're gonna use some scissors. So if you have all of these supplies, then you're ready to make one of these pom-pom fantasy characters with me. So, the great thing about this craft is that you cannot mess it up. There is absolutely no way that you can mess it up because the beauty of a fantasy character is that nobody knows what it actually looks like. It can look like whatever you want it to look like. So I'm gonna take some pom-poms and I'm gonna start off with one of the big pom-poms. If you open up your bag, you're gonna see that you have three different sizes. You have a small, you have a medium, a small, you have a small, you have a medium, and you have a large. This is the large one. So pick whatever color large pom-pom you want. I think I'm going to go with orange. And then you're going to pick a Chanel stem. So I'm going to pick blue. And I'm going to pick out two blue Chanel stems. And we're going to cut these Chanel stems in half. So I don't know if you've ever done this before, but if you take your Chanel stem and you fold it so that one hand touches the other hand and then you bend it down, you can make half. Then I'm going to take my scissors and I'm going to cut right there at that half piece. So now I have two pieces of pipe cleaner. I have this half and I have this half. I'm gonna do the same thing with this other piece. I'm gonna fold it and bend it hand to hand. There we go. That's the halfway mark. And then I'm gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut it. Voila. So I like to fluff up my pom-pom. And when I fluff up my pom-pom, I'm going to take one of these Chanel stems and I'm going to wrap it around the pom-pom. Now, when I wrap it around, I want to twist it. So you can twist the pom-pom or you can twist the stem, whichever way you want to do it, but give it one or two good twists so that the pom-pom isn't going to fall off of your Chanel stem. So now I have a pom-pom with these two little pieces sticking out, and these two little pieces can end up becoming like the legs or maybe the arms of our creature. So let's do it again, and let's take a medium pom-pom. You can use the same color, or you can use a different color. I'm going to switch to green because I think green's going to look really good on this character. And I'm going to fluff up this pom-pom. Boop, 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 boop. And I'm gonna take one of the other halves and I'm gonna wrap it around this medium size pom-pom. And I'm gonna twist, boop, twist the stem or twist the pom-pom. 
and make sure it's not gonna come off. Now, these little leftover pieces can be maybe your arms. So if you put these together, you're gonna have a body that's gonna have some legs and you're gonna have a front that maybe has some arms or maybe it's gonna have four legs. Maybe it's a four-legged creature. I don't know what your creature is gonna be yet. So we wanna find a way to connect all of these together. So we're gonna take another one of our halves and we're going to wrap it around both of these at the same time. Oop. And if you have extra when you're wrapping it around, that's great because guess what? Now it can be a horn. <laughs> So maybe I have something, a creature that has some legs and maybe it has a horn or maybe you wanna add another little pom-pom and maybe it's gonna have a head too. Maybe this one isn't the head, maybe it needs another head. I think I'm gonna add another pom-pom. So I'm gonna twist, twist another pom-pom for my head. And I just twisted that extra little piece that I was saying was the horn to hold that little piece on there. So look at what I got so far, what do you think? This is crazy, <laughs> but I like it, I like it. So now we have our pony beads and our pony beads are gonna help us make some cool looking legs. Maybe it's almost like shoes that are gonna go on your creature, I don't know. But I'm gonna take some pony beads and I'm gonna find four of them. So green is jumping out at me. So I think that's the color that I'm gonna use. I'm gonna find four green pieces. And then I'm gonna take each one of the green pieces and I'm gonna put it on my pipe cleaner, my Chanel stem, and then I'm gonna wrap it up so that it doesn't fall off. And maybe you even wanna curl it up one more time so that it really, really doesn't fall off. So there's one little shoe on my fantasy creature. Now I'm gonna put another pony bead on the Chanel stem. I'm gonna wrap that wire over and I'm gonna wrap that wire over again to make sure it really doesn't fall off. I mean, I would hate for this fantasy creature to go out into the mountains because I'm assuming that's where it lives and um, the shoes would fall off because then you're like walking around on sticks and stuff and it would probably hurt. So. I'm gonna say that these are this person's shoes and they definitely need that when they're going into a magical forest. So let's put his shoes on, let's put another shoe on. And so now we have four pony bead shoes. Doop, 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 doop. Huh, I feel like our character needs something else. So maybe it needs a horn or maybe it needs wings or maybe it breathes fire, I don't know. But one of those things, so let's see. Hmm, what do I wanna do? I think I wanna do some wings. So I'm gonna grab some of my foam and I think I'm gonna have pink wings. So I'm gonna make some wings that are gonna come out of this body and I'm gonna glue them in here using my craft glue. So now I just need to kind of decide what my wings are gonna look like. And honestly, I don't know what they're gonna look like yet. I'm gonna cut about this much. So it's not halfway, a little bit less than halfway. And then I'm gonna fold this in half. And the reason why I'm folding it in half is because I want the wings to be the same on both sides. So if I cut through two layers, then I know that both sides are gonna be the same when I open it back up. So I'm gonna cut on the side that's open, not on the side with the fold. On the side that's open, I'm gonna cut a little round piece. Oop. And I'm gonna cut this corner a little round. And then I'm gonna cut a triangle right here. And I'm gonna cut a triangle right here. Ooh, interesting. <laughs> These wings are awfully big. I think I need to make them smaller. So I'm gonna cut the whole entire thing in half. But um, 
Ooh, now I'm liking what I got going on here. So when you find the wings, this is almost like a bumblebee wing. I like that. So if you find wings that you like, you can cut them whatever shape you want to. You can have these going up. You can have them going down. Hmm, maybe I want mine going up. That's a good idea. Then we're going to take our craft glue. Where did I put it? Hold, please. Craft glue, where are you? I don't know where my craft glue went. Well, that's okay. I have another idea. You can take these wings and you can take your last Chanel stem and I'm gonna wrap the Chanel stem around the wings and I'm gonna twist, twist, and then I'm gonna put the wings in, in between the big orange pom-pom and the green pom-pom. And then I'm gonna twist, twist, and I have a creature with amazing wings and green shoes that can either fly through a magical forest or walk through a magical forest because clearly it has shoes on. So that was a good thing to do with wings because I couldn't find my glue. But if you have your glue, you can try gluing it on instead of putting the wings on um, your pipe cleaner. You can do that. And then with our googly eyes, we can add these eyes and put a little bit of glue on each one of those pieces. Now I gotta get serious about finding my glue. And I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on each one of my Google eyes. And I'm gonna put my Google eyes onto my pink pom-pom to make my finishing touches. So I'm gonna pick out two eyes that are the same size, but you know what? They don't even have to be the same size. That's the great thing. So I'm gonna pick out two eyes and I'm gonna put a little dab of glue on each one. And then I'm going to stick it on to the pink. Ooh, it has one eye and it wiggles. Then I'm going to take another little dab of glue and I'm going to put it on the other eye. And I'm going to put the other eye on. Ooh, yeah. And we have our fantasy character. Now, I don't know what this fantasy character's name should be. It's got wings and it's got shoes on. I kind of think its name is McGregor. I think it's McGregor, the walking dragonfly cougar. Dragonfly cougar, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely what it is. So yeah. This completes one of our fantasy characters, but we can make as many different kinds as we want to. So I wanna take a minute and I wanna show you some of the other ones that I made. So one of the other ones that I made, ooh, has googly eyes and it has a pom-pom nose and I decided it should have a star mouth. So I put some pom-poms together. I did the same thing that we just did where I wrapped the Chanel stem around the pom-poms and I used two medium pom-poms and connected them to a big pom-pom to make this funny little face, this funny little character. And it's got a lot of legs and a lot of arms, so it can do a lot more things. It can carry a lot of things if it wants to. I also have another little character who breathes fire. <sighs> so I wrapped my Chanel stem around a big pom-pom and then I took one whole Chanel stem and I connected the pom-poms and then I had a huge tail. So it, I got it all wiggly by wrapping it around my finger and making a wiggly tail. 
obviously I put shoes on it because I like all my characters to wear shoes. I think it's very important in any fantasy land to wear shoes for safety reasons, of course. And then I have fire coming out of my pom-pom. And the way that I made the fire was I took one of these squares of tissue paper and I crunched it up and then I just glued it onto his mouth. And then I have a fire breathing, long-tailed, googly boogle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, long-tailed googly boogle with fire breathing powers. So that's cool. This was the one that we just made. Ooh, ooh, his eyes are falling off. I don't know if you put it to the side, but you wanna make sure that you let that glue dry for a while so that the eyes don't fall off like they just did for me. And then I think I have one more character. Oh, I have two more characters that I made already to show you. So here's another one where I connected together three different pom-poms. And with this tail, you could use a pencil or a pen or even your finger and just wrap that Chanel stem around it and then pull your finger back out and look at those cool loops. Isn't that cool? This one's got wings and it has a horn. And then I took one of the circles and I cut a smiley face. Hi, good to see you guys. And then one other one that I made has wings. So in your, in your suitcase, you have feathers and other things. So if you're not using them for any of your other projects, maybe you could throw some wings out of feathers onto some of your fantasy characters. So I think we have time to make one more character together. So it can be whatever we want. It doesn't have to be any of the ones we've already done. It can be brand new, something we've never thought of before. And we'll try it again. This time I'm gonna use a sparkly one because I'm feeling pretty sparkly today. So here's a blue sparkle. And I think I'm also going to pick two medium-sized blues that are not sparkly. I'm gonna try and make one that kind of looks like this guy and see how we do with that. So next we're gonna pick out our Chanel stems. You have sparkly Chanel stems and you have regular ones too. So this time I'm gonna use sparkly Chanel stems. And I'm gonna use blue because I'm just really going with blue right now. So here's two sparkly blue Chanel stems. Do you remember how we folded these in half? Fold them in half whoop, and then cut them. There you go. And fold it in half and cut. There you go. All right, poof, 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 poof. Are you poofing your poofs? You gotta poof your poofs, it's very important. So I poofed my poofs and now I'm going to take my Chanel stem and I'm gonna wrap it around. And you wanna make it kind of tight. And then remember, you can either twist the pom-pom or you can twist the stem or you can do both, which is what I just ended up doing. It's not coming off of there, so I know it's good. I'm gonna do the same thing with my next two medium-sized pom-poms. Oh, I'm making a little bit of a mess here. I'm gonna take this, poof, 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 poof. <laughs> and then I'm gonna wrap this around. And I'm going to twist, twist. It's not coming off. Same thing, poof, poof, poof. Poof, poof. <laughs> and then I'm going to twist, twist, not coming off. All right, hold your pom-pom like it has antennas. Now you have these two pom-poms that have like little V's coming down from them. So here's what we're gonna do, ready? You're gonna stick this through like this. So I took this piece that has that little V and I'm gonna put the V inside of the V. And then I'm gonna twist the little pom-pom's legs 
Then I'm gonna take the other one and I'm gonna stick it through and push it up close next to the other one. And I'm gonna twist, twist. So here's what I have so far. So far, it almost looks like a fly or like a bug or something, right? So we're trying to make something kind of like the red guy. So see how it has two parts to the face and then it has the body. And then we have all these extra legs that we can put shoes on and we can do whatever we want to with it. So I am going to take another little pom-pom and I'm gonna make a nose. So I'm gonna take the littlest, tiniest pom-pom out of all of them. And I'm gonna put a little bit of glue on it and I'm gonna put it right here to make the nose. I'm just gonna twist this around so that I don't see my pipe cleaner, my Chanel stems very much. So I'm gonna put a little dab of glue and then I'm going to put that nose right in between the two eyes. Ooh, I like it. I like it, I like it, I like it. So next you might wanna use your Google eyes. Well, let's save Google eyes for the end because that's my favorite part. So next I'm gonna put some shoes on this character. So what color shoes do you think I should use? I think I'm gonna use, I don't know, what color should I use? I think I'll use red. I feel like it should have red shoes. Oh, but guess what? There's not four feet. There are one, two, three, four, five, six feet. So I need six pony beads to make some shoes. So now I got six pony beads. I'm just gonna go through each one of the legs and I'm going to twist and I'm gonna roll that pony bead up the pipe cleaner Chanel stem so that I got a shoe and the shoe's not going anywhere, it's stuck. Then I'm gonna take the next shoe and I'm gonna roll it Roll the wire around it so that it stays. Don't wanna lose your shoe, even though he would have five leftover shoes, but that's okay. You still don't wanna lose any shoes because then you wouldn't have anything that matches and it would be terrible. So keep that in mind. Then I'm gonna to go to the other side and I'm gonna add all the shoes over here. Actually, I don't think that this is a guy. I think this one's name is Shirley. Shirley the shoes, Shirley shoes. Yeah, Shirley shoes. So Shirley shoes has lots of shoes and she can walk through the magical forest. She can probably swim too with all of these uh, feet, but she might need to take her shoes off for swimming. That might be too much. So, oop, my nose, oop. Okay, I got all my legs, all six of them. I got my eyes, I got my nose. And just to make our eyes even fancier, let's add some Googles. I feel like I want really big Google eyes for this one because I feel like she needs really big eyes. So I'm gonna go ahead and use some glue and I'm gonna glue those eyes on. Oop. And here comes the other one. Now I probably need to let this dry for a while so that I don't wiggle the wiggle eyes right off. And if your eyes aren't sticking very well, that maybe you could ask your mom or dad or any parent or any adult who could use a hot glue gun um, to help you out. And then they could get those to stay on there forever. Oh my gosh, Shirley Shoes, you're like so cute. Hey Shirley, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing fabulous. I'm a really good tap dancer. Ta-da, 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 ta-da. <laughs> so we've completed two fantasy characters, fantasy characters. Um, and I would love to see what kind of character you guys come up with. So you have lots of supplies. You can use all the pom-poms we've been talking about and all the Chanel stems. And I can't wait to see what you make.